was so young, taken so soon, had his whole life ahead of him. A heartbroken mother struggling to make sense of her son's violent death. And tonight, she is sharing her story with News 5 in hopes his killer will soon be brought to justice. Gordon Taylor was shot and killed at his stepmother's home last month. The 19-year-old's mom now turning to the public who she believes can help police crack this case. News 5's Mike Brookbank joined us live now from the Brooklyn Police Department. And Mike, investigators are still trying to piece this murder together. Yeah, Frank, and they're not telling us much except that Jordan's death was not a random act. Tonight, his mom continues her quest to find closure for her son's spirit, so she says he can finally rest. Waking up knowing that another day is going to go by and I will not see my son again. It's the new painful reality Gwendolyn Pogue now struggles to live with. Because I can't understand why somebody would want to hurt my son. Her firstborn's life. We used to call him Buddha all the time because he was like this really big baby and tragically cut short. Good hearted, um, loved family. Pogue's nightmare began with Jordan's brother calling her in the early morning hours of November 18th. This is how she answered the phone. Where is Jordan and what is wrong? And he said, Jordan's dead. His mom asked to identify the body at the hospital. And I was laying on him and hugging him and, you know, just telling him, God, please don't leave me. I love you. Please don't leave me. Please tell us Jordan was shot and killed at this home in the 4,000 block of Elizabeth Lane in Brooklyn. Somebody deliberately went there to handle business, whether it was to kill somebody, rob the house. In a 911 call, I don't want to worry, your emergency. Jordan's girlfriend told dispatchers he left her in the basement to go upstairs when he was shot. I need answers. We all need answers. As investigators continue their work to find them, Pogue patiently waits with her son close by. I carry Jordan's urn around with me everywhere I go. Um, you know, <laughs> I do, and I have a necklace with his ashes in it. This tribute tattoo on Pogue's arm, a nod to the superheroes he loved and the journey to find justice for her son. Um, decided to go with a puzzle piece um, for the investigation that we currently have um, opened, hoping that eventually um, it will all come together. This Saturday, Jordan's family is going to hold a vigil outside of the home where he was murdered to mark the first holiday season without him. Meantime, Brooklyn police are asking for patience as they continue their investigation. We're live in Brooklyn tonight. Mike Brookbank, News 5.